What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and I am extremely excited and honored to be here with you today celebrating 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for uh, commenting, liking, subscribing, whatever it is that you do to make this community so great and positive. Thank you, uh, each and every one of you, for all of just everything just your support it means the world to me it really does and i can't wait uh, to see what the future holds for this channel that said there will be a giveaway video coming out this week i wanted to go ahead and put this video out there as well so you guys are informed on exactly what fortress rewards you will be receiving this community day and of course going forward whenever you do get a fortress reward drop so i want to go ahead and get into that but i did want to let you guys know that if you haven't already make sure you subscribe down below because there will be a giveaway and when you ring those notification bells you will be alerted when that video drops so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the contents and no this is not clickbait we will 100 percent without a doubt be getting those foundables dropped from fortress as long as the feature actually works i know with this past brilliant event the lost love brilliant event there weren't supposed to be a whole ton of ingredients all over the ground but there were, so that's kind of what we got. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys today about the fortress rewards that you can expect when you do uh, play in those certain chambers. So for me personally, probably what I will do is I will spend about half of the time getting those foundables and those traces, those oddities that I need. And then the other half I'll probably be spending with my friends in fortress battles because right now, the XP is insane. The challenge XP is unbelievable. When you are playing with four friends, including yourself would be five, uh, it, it's just off the charts, incredible. So if you haven't spent a lot of time in Fortresses since the latest update 2.10.0, I highly, highly recommend that. And now, without further ado, we're gonna get into the whole point of this video and talk about everything that you guys need to know in regards to those Fortress Foundables. Of course, I do have a full breakdown and review of what's gonna be going down on Community Day this weekend, Sunday, February 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in your local time. I go over the tasks, I go over the mechanics and all that new stuff. You can check that up in the card above if you feel so inclined. So I really wanna focus on the Fortress aspect of this Community Day uh, because there's a couple of new things at play so for example when we were using an oddities runestone in chamber 10 which is tower chamber 5 or above in wizarding challenges you will only get the horned serpent egg fragment so no matter what chamber you are in as long as it is in tower chamber 5 or above when using an oddities runestone you will get a horned serpent egg this is part of the mechanic for Community Day. So yes, these are guaranteed foundable fragments for Horned Serpent Eggs during the hours of Community Day this weekend only. This isn't for always, this isn't forever, only. That's the key word on Community Day. Now, in the other hand, there's actually some really cool features for the other runestones. So it's not just all about oddities. Uh, when you use any runestone from any registry family, the expiration foundables and all that good stuff, you will be able to guarantee a drop from that family in regards to the fortress foundables, which is why we're here to talk about this today. So in tower chamber five or above, that's the rule, right? That's the same rule for the oddities as it is for every other family. So tower chamber five and above, you will be getting those guaranteed drops from every single family across the board. So if you use a Magizoology runestone, you're probably gonna get the, the Murtlap or the Akamir or the Thunderbird. And if you use a Legend of Hogwarts uh, runestone, you'll you'll see the Dumbledore's Army sign-up sheet or the Flying Key or the copy of events. But we'll, we're gonna get to all of that in just a minute. So I want you to know that Tower Chamber 5 and above, that is going to be the baseline, the absolute base level for those guaranteed foundable fragments. Now, you may be asking, what are these fortress foundables? How do I know what page um, I, I need to work on? How do I know what foundables I need to work on? Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, you probably will notice that there are some foundables on each of your family registry pages that are significantly lower than others. If you don't do fortresses a lot and you're just a, you know, mainly a tracer, uh, which is completely fine, 
you will find yourself way, way, way behind and um, not really sure why it is that you can't seem to keep up with those other foundables. So what I'm gonna do now is, of course, thank you to Orange Wizard for providing the graphic, is I'm gonna go through each and every single family. We're gonna break down those family foundables so you guys know exactly what to work on and what to look for this community day. So the first family we're going to start with is Care of Magical Creatures. In the Care of Magical Creatures family, you will be looking for the Puffskin, Hagrid's Hut, or the Abraxan Winged Horse. Those are going to be the Fortress Foundables in that family. For the Dark Arts family, you have the Nocturne Alley Sign, Tom Riddle Sr.'s Gravestone, and the Magic is Might statue. For the Magizoology family, you have the Murtlap, the Akami, and the Thunderbird. On the platform nine and three quarters or Hogwarts school foundable page, you'll have, of course, the Hogwarts house cup, the house hourglasses, the owl lectern, and the wild boar portrait. On the magical games and sports page, you have the Quidditch pitch stands, you have Quidditch through the ages, the Triwizard Cup, and the Gryffindor Quidditch banner. Now, of course, in the Legends of Hogwarts family, you have the copy of Advanced Potion Making, the Flying Key, the Wizard Chess Queen, the Dumbledore's Army sign-up sheet, and the Yule Ball Invitation, or the Yule Ball Program. The Ministry of Magic page only has three of these foundables, the Fountain of Magic Brethren, the Ministry Visitor's Entrance, which is the phone booth, and then the Accusation Chair. The Mysterious Artifacts family is going to require the Sword of Gryffindor, the Cursed Opal Necklace, and Sirius's Flying Motorbike. The Wonders of the Wizarding World, which you may or may not remember from last month, were the Night Bus, the Hogwarts Express Engine, and the Platform 9 and 3 quarters sign. And of course, last but not least, the feature foundables for this month are going to be the Centaur Bow and the Horned Serpent Egg on the oddities page. Now again, like I said, when you're using an oddities runestone, you will be guaranteed a horned serpent egg foundable when you are fighting in tower chamber five or above. And all of these other drops can come when you are in tower chamber five or above using any of these runestones. So it is completely random, but uh, like I said, if you realize that you're way behind on your magical games and sports page and you don't have many of the Quidditch pitch stands or you don't have the Triwizard Cup, uh, which is something that I struggled with in last month's event. So I, I definitely want to, to work on those. So I know that I can use a magical games and sports runestone and I have a 25% chance that it's going to drop. I actually need all of those foundables. So no matter what happens and what drops, I'll be pretty happy with that because I'll be able to progress my pages and get closer to prestiging. Now, in regards to the rest of Community Day, I highly recommend trying to clear out your report keys as much as possible. There will be special two kilometer port keys that will only drop Horn Serpent Egg Fragments. So not only can you get them in the fortresses if you're fighting in Tower Chamber 5 or above, but you can also get them from those special port keys that are only two kilometers a piece. Those are incredible for saving up for brilliant events when you have to lock, uh, walk off any port keys or anything like that for the tasks. Um, and all of that. So those are just a few tips and tricks that I have for this community day and even going forward, just so you know exactly what the fortress rewards are in each family. You're not going to be confused anymore. You're not going to wonder, you know, what in the world is this? Uh, what, what, what is it that's the foundable for the Magizoology family again? Or is the wizard chess queen a Legends of Hogwarts family uh, foundable in like fortresses or do I find it in the wild? Like you won't have to worry about that anymore because you have this image, which I will actually link down in the description below. If you want to, uh, you can go screenshot it and go follow Orange Wizard on Instagram and make sure that you're up to date on all of those infographics because um, we are dropping them first and fastest as soon as we possibly can whenever new information comes out. Of course, this isn't necessarily new information, but I saw somebody in my comment section uh, after I did the community day drop uh, video. They were like, who is, you know, who, who do I need to find? Where are my fortress foundables? Do I know? And so I promised them I would do an upload and here it is. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you got something out of this video, you found uh, some value in this video, please make sure you let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below as well as hitting that red subscribe button and ringing those notification bells so you are made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. I'm also looking forward to covering Magic Awakened when it comes out uh, and a few other things. Look for the giveaway video coming soon. I uh, have a bag full of stuff. I went to Books A Million the other day and I got a few things for you guys 
guys. So I'm very excited to be able to release those things to you uh, very soon and do that giveaway for you guys. So thank you so much again for your support. I appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.